Devastation in Puerto Rico. Take a look at that. A powerful magnitude 6.4 earthquake jolted the southwestern part of the island. You see the cars crushed and houses destroyed. Power wiped out again. It is the largest in a series of earthquakes, including dozens of aftershocks. Meteorologist Rafael Miranda joining us to explain the seismic activity. And so many of us people have family there. We have friends who visit there all the time. This is devastating, Rafi. Yes, it's been a very scary day. We had that one strong 6.4, but also many other weeks earthquakes. We had many category five earthquakes there on the Richter scale and weaker ones as well, all clustered on the south coast of Puerto Rico. Now, if you're wondering how common a 6.0 magnitude or greater earthquake is on a global scale, they happen about 120 times a year. So average one every three days or so. Now we do have video of some of the damage that we saw. Many houses collapsed onto cars. Uh, this was the typical damage and this is what you expect out of a category out of a magnitude six earthquake or larger that puts in the strong category there. Now, if you're wondering why these earthquakes happen, uh, oh, we also have video of the seismograph. We have a look here in New York City. Uh, the energy from this earthquake made it all the way up here, propagated into our area about five minutes after the earthquake. It shows up there on the seismograph out of New York City. Now, I want to show you why these earthquakes happen. It's all about the tectonic plates. The Earth is divided into these plates. They're made of rock. So if you can imagine the rock bumping up against each other where the plates meet, that's a fault line. The energy Energy is released once these rocks, once these plates finally are able to move again. Uh, that's what releases the energy and causes that earthquake. This earthquake was an example of a strike slip fault, more horizontal movement there with those tectonic plates. Uh, again, anywhere you have these plates meeting, those are the fault lines. Another fault line like this would be the San Andreas fault that we hear so much in California. So everyone continues the cleanup there in Puerto Rico. Back to you. Our Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.